In this video presentation, we're going to cover how to place pins in the FP Designer program by the coordinate. Select the designer icon, upper left hand corner, and fill in your package dimensions. And select OK. Then select your, create your pad stack, add a queue, save the pad stack, and it opens up the manual import or define the placement of the pins. I'm going to type in negative, a negative value here, negative 4 by, by positive 2. And I'm going to step and repeat that 2 millimeters and enter. And I'm going to step that 4 times, so I'll have a total of 5. I'm going to insert 1, and then I'm going to add 4 more. That's what that is. And x before y. Add to design, and I take a look, and I said, oops, I made a mistake on the Y dimension. I just select the undo button, change Y to 1, and add to design. And now I got them in the right place. Now, if I want to take pin 1 and change it to a different shape, like, like square, I would simply go to my pad stack menu over here and select New and through hole, and then select square. I would put in, of course, my hole size and my pad size, but I'm going to take the pad shape and make it square. And then add that to my design queue, select the square pad stack, and then select pin 1, and then right mouse button, and assign that pin 1 to that pad stack with the right mouse button. Save and close, and now pin 1 is square, and the rest are like this. Okay, so that's how you place pins by coordinate in the FP Designer program. Simplify, standardize, and automate an entire IPC and IEC compliant library. Detailed, accurate, reliable, professional. Highest quality footprints and 3D step models. Clicks away. Many companies worldwide are easily generating their CAD libraries. You should too. Get a fully functional footprint expert evaluation license for any CAD format and demo today. Contact us at pcblibraries.com or call 847-557-2300.